Beijing, the capital city with over 3,000 years of history, is one of the world's most iconic cities. But it has been on a bit of a roller coaster ride over the last 40 years. In 1978, Deng Xiaoping initiated a series of reforms, both social and economic, that after many years of isolation would thrust China into the global sphere once more. Ren 北京是一个名字，conjures up images of the Great Wall、天安门Square，and的Forbidden City，monuments to China's historic strength。It would be fair to say that this emphasis on looking backwards could not contrast more heavily than with the forward-thinking attitude of Xinjiang。By the mid-
，中国客是海外人的很多倍就对了啊，所以呢不一样，你知道吗？反正他们呢，对于哈、啊、中国人讲，对于中国人讲，好像呢中国这块地方还是一块处女地。很原始的地方，可是他们真正到来以后，看到哈、啊、中国的发展真的跟以前不一样、啊，所以呢，现在中国的发展真的是很快。But what is it that attracts the hordes of tourists to Beijing in the first place? Today, I think the first one that is the love Chinese culture. Because China is a country、uh, which has a long history, very attractive, especially Beijing. So come here to see how wonderful. It is because they cannot imagine long time ago, Ming and Qing and the emperor where they live. They come to this area to just to understand you, ah, local, the local, the local culture is what. Your Hutong culture, the people how they live, then the local people, the local people, eat, live, eh, they how they live in this environment to live, to live. You can see lots of movies, you can see lots of pictures, but unless you are exactly here. You cannot realize the beauty and the such a huge place. It seems that Beijing and China as a whole is falling back in love with the culture it so nearly lost. But it's important that it keeps these traditions alive. In modern China. The younger generation has the weight of expectation of the entire nation on their shoulders. Song Yan believes that it is vital that the older generation pass on their knowledge to the youth before it is too late. 原来唱京剧百分之八十以上全是五十岁往上的老人，那么我们现在演这个京剧也好，演话剧也好，特别是我们这部表现京剧故事的话剧。百分之九十全是八零后、九零后，特别的年轻，所以我们也达到了我们的目的。The changing of the guard of which Song Yan speaks is most apparent when you observe the relationship between him and his son. 也应该去研究研究，怎么能够像。跟天硕这样的青年人能够拉近，所以我们这次做这话剧，实际上就是一个，我就是传统的，他就是现代的，我们父子俩的结合，实际就是我们现在戏曲传统戏曲和现代的文化的结合。我觉得，当然这个可能说的比较片面一点，实际就是做了一个尝试。而且我又知道，其实我父亲的排练的习惯也好，或者什么，所以我很聪明的想了一个办法，之前问他，就是说，呃，我们一旦遇到冲突。就是，尤其在创作上遇到冲突，我们谁说了算？我爸当时，您这我说了，我说我说你说了算，对不对？这有什么话剧吗？导演负责制，你说了算。结果他不相信，我一点都不信，你知道吗？这一点都不信，因为我见过他排戏的样子，所以我就写了一个声明，然后我需要您来签字。你把这个签了，就是我们一旦有上面就写的是我们一旦有冲突，到底听谁的，谁说了算。真正的是，确实他还是挺有这方面的经验的。事实证明，听他的都对了。Interestingly, the younger generation is not merely content to preserve their forefathers' customs and traditions, but rather evolve them to ensure they stay relevant in the modern age. 除了舞台，我们希望能够再往前走一步。就是做一些沉浸式的戏剧，呃，有一说有点像环境戏剧，怎么说吸收了很多像沉浸式戏剧啊，包括像现在的密室逃脱，就是都是让现在的年轻人，年轻人最重要的是什么？是体验感。其实年轻人不会拒绝传统文化、传统艺术，他想要的是一种新鲜的体验感。所以我们现在一直在想做一个找一个老的戏楼，我们去编这种故事。Plays such as Wang Fu prove that a new generation is emerging that is both proud to be Chinese and is happy to embrace their history and the rest of the world. It is not just Chinese artists that are being influenced by the traditional arts. 
The thriving cultural scene that has developed over the last 40 years is also attracting a fair amount of foreign interest. The Little Poems community is an artist's commune situated in a village outside of Beijing. Its residents are covering the entire village in stunning murals. I actually had no intention of ever really coming to China. It wasn't until I met a friend, um, another artist, who had recommended doing a residency in China. Um, so I kind of just came on a whim, like not really knowing a lot, didn't really do much research, just kind of showed up. Um, and I'm glad I did it that way. So I didn't really have a lot of like preconceived notions. And I was kind of curious like what the future would look like. Perhaps the most surprising thing is the reaction of the local residents. So in the beginning, I think it, they, they didn't really know what I'm going to do. And then the last days, many people came here and many people stopped, if, even if they uh, were driving in the car. They stopped and they, um, yeah, they made like, wow, this is good. It may seem like fun and games, but the art has a more serious purpose as it offers an opportunity for the village youngsters to experience life outside their norm. In this village, you can see a lot of art from different countries. So that's the most beautiful part. Also the benefits for the village kids because they cannot afford it to go to the bilingual school, <coughs> but they have the same rights that they can enjoy the international art education in this village. It's totally free. So I think that's the, big, the biggest com contribution we created and we contributed. Yeah. There is no doubt that Beijing, much like its southern counterpart Xinjiang, has come a long way over the last few decades. 40 years is merely half a lifetime, but it is plenty of time for a country such as China to redefine its global and cultural identity. There have been challenges, but these were an integral part of the journey to the place where China stands today.